to see it. And I have to pretty, uh, pretty, we spoke to Rafi a couple of days ago, and um, we kind of mentioned uh, your leadership role in the, within the team and how you seem so determined to uh, do really well this tournament. So is that something you can talk to us a little bit about, just in terms of how you've approached this competition and um, how you see your own role in the team? Um. Yeah, I think it's just because it's probably my last one. Um, so I'm just trying to give my all. Just trying to help out everyone where I can. Um, who's ever going through experiences for their first time, which I've been through, be there to help the guys how to get through certain things um, from a men mental point of view and strategically also. Um, so I just, I'm just there to help the guys. Uh, I'm just trying to give them my all for the last time. Eh? Um, yeah, I think, I think that's what we've been focusing on every game uh, since, since the first game, it's just, just on ourselves, uh, just trying to be the best protest team we can be. Um, obviously we've got a big game on Sunday, um, and we'll sit down and do our usual process, uh, before every game, uh, go from a strategic point of view, um, have a look at the, the Indian Indian team um, and we'll find a way how we find a way how we can beat them um, obviously they're a strong unit so like you said there's a big game Yeah, I think I've said to the decision. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's the end of my 50 over career. Um, and yeah, there has been one or two, one or two words sent to me or said to me. Uh, maybe I should think about it, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Thanks, Tienis. Um We'll go Telford, and then uh, just a reminder to uh, just raise your hand in the chat panel if you if anybody else would like to ask any additional questions. Um, thanks, Lucy. How's it going, sir? Um, you've you've been part of a, a fair few South African World Cup efforts, and I just wonder what what do you think makes this one different and, and so far more successful? Um. To be fair, I'm not actually too sure. Um, I think it's just we're just playing really good cricket at the moment. Um, I think we've been playing really good cricket for a while now as a team. Um, I'm not too sure what it is, but it's whatever whatever we're doing. Uh, it's just stick to well, we know what we're doing, so just carry on doing it. Um, you know, not look too far ahead. Um, take each game by game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just keeping things very simple. Uh, not trying to, not trying to overthink things, not trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, just trying to do the simple things really good. I think that's probably maybe one of the key things I think we, why we've been quite successful. Thanks, Talford, for those in tennis game. Well, you mentioned that your mind kind of made up and, and people have asked you about continuing. Um, is your mind made up even though perhaps like we see South Africa have kind of changed in that um, you could play league cricket and maybe still come back and, and play for the national team? And given that the next World Cup's at home, do you think in the interim years maybe something will change your mind? Uh, at this point, uh, uh, I don't foresee it happening. Um, but, I mean, you never know. Strange things happen in life. Um, there could be a possibility, but I don't think so. There's some good youngsters coming through anyway, um, who will will probably take my spot as soon as I leave here, and they will and they'll have to deal with deal with the national duties at that stage. So I don't think I'll be coming through. Thanks, Tienis. Um, we'll go to Rafi. 
But like I say, you never know. Thanks for those. Tim has been sent here. Yeah, I think, obviously, personally, I feel like if I, I'd rather win the World Cup and score no runs than score all the runs and not win a World Cup, to be fair. Um, but as a unit, we've batted really well. Um, we take pride in what we do um, as our profession. So, um, yeah, we've, we start off really well. But like I said, we'd rather, we'd rather score no runs and win a World Cup. Um, obviously, the accolades are great, but at the end of the day, if, for myself, if I don't foresee us winning the trophy, then it kind of means nothing for me. So, so to me, now I'm looking at the bigger picture of why we are. Thanks. Uh, is it here then, Stu? Um, Queen Husband, just a tabla for me. Um, San Kumar San Carlos was scored four centuries in his last World Cup. Was he a wicket keeper batter that you looked up to, or was there anybody else that, that you would have looked up to um, wanting to be? Um, why do you why do you uh, you were coming through and and secondly just a a word on, on Rob Walter what kind of a coach is he have you enjoyed him um, just what what did he bring to your game that, that you particularly enjoy thanks man uh, yeah I th obviously I've always enjoyed uh, Sanger uh, growing up and obviously playing with him um, it's one of my good friends now also. Um, I wouldn't say I wanted to be like someone else other than myself. Um, and that's pretty much it on that topic. But Rob, Rob's been great. Um, I've, I've absolutely loved, loved playing under him. Um, he's really made, made, it, made this environment be really fun, professional. Um, you know, he's given us, I don't know what he does, but he's just made us really enjoy our cricket. Um, and he loves loves coaching the Proteas. He loves representing South Africa. Um, you know, it's just as passionate of a South African as as he left for New Zealand as he is now. So um, he's just great. He's a great person. Um, loves to be around. Um, you know, he's got good values in life. Um, so these are all just the characteristics that Rob carries himself. Just that just makes him a good coach. Yeah, I think I think Tim has just has been batting really well. Um, he's looked very solid up front, um, and then obviously he's somehow just found a way to keep getting out. Um, but no, he's still feeling very good about his own game. Uh, very confident. Timber always backs himself, which is a good thing and a good trait to have. Um, so I think he's he's not phased. At least I hope he's not. Um, it doesn't look like he is. Um, but yeah, his last couple of innings, he's batted really well, but then found ways just to get out. So um, it's something that all of us batsmen have gone through in our career at some point where we feel really good. But uh, but yeah, somehow find a way to get get ourselves out. Um, but yeah, he's, he's you know I've got a feeling one of, one or two of these games, especially an important game for us, I feel like that's when he's going to come through for us. That's that's Timber Bavuma in a package. Thanks, Stu. If you'll just hold on one moment, we've just uh, had a ring at the door at our, in this hotel room. So just one second. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, please go ahead, Hyatt. Everybody 
Uh, Hans, um, you broke up quite a bit there, so we didn't catch all of your, your question. Um, sorry, you hear me now? Bruce? Yeah, I got you. Cool, man, thanks. Um, I was just actually wondering, um, just in terms of you guys have full, full confidence, you guys have clarity, um, you have, um, you, know, you have um, a game plan in hand, which has obviously um, helped you guys um, you know, be quite prolific in this tournament. I was just also wondering, just the vast experience that the majority of the top order have had, you know, in the IPL as well, you know, that's almost those chickens coming to roost as, um, as well, and how much of a factor that has been, you know, you believe, you know, in your guys that uh, almost want to say comfortableness, you know, uh, in coping with and excelling in this in this Yeah, obviously, um, we've been coming here, a lot of us players have been coming here for years, um, not just for the RPL, but also for for international series. Um, and obviously, we kind of all understand the, the conditions here. Um, so obviously, it's helped us knowing what we're dealing with. Um, to be fair, a couple of the wickets that we've played on here have taken us by surprise in what they've done. Because um, we're used to playing in different times of the year, um, obviously with the RPL also, and with the weather around, conditions have, do change uh, from like a dew point of view. How the wickets completely change. Um, so there has been one or two surprises, uh, which is perfectly normal in World Cups. What happens? Um, but yeah, as a batting unit, I think we're well equipped to to pretty much take on most conditions. Um, and I think we take a lot of confidence from that because uh, the series before we've really focused on upping our skills um, in all different departments on how we're going to play spin, uh, how we're going to play sh uh, fast bowling, how we're going to play C movement. So yeah, I think it's all just coming together. Perfect, thanks. I think that's Marco at the door, so apologies for that bell ringing again. Um, so we're going to go Timmet and then one last one from Pedos. Uh, to be fair, I don't think they have many, many weaknesses, if any, to be honest. Uh, I think that's why they're top of the log and they've won every game. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, we'll sit down and chat about things, but from the top of my head, I don't foresee them having any weaknesses. Um, you never know, maybe a bad game can happen. Um, maybe that's the only thing, but I don't foresee it happening also. So, I don't foresee any weaknesses, unfortunately. Thanks. Uh, for those, uh, Vicky, I see you have put your hand up, so we'll squeeze you in and then as a final question before we go over to uh, Marco. Uh, thanks, Lucy. Connie, just on India, I mean, when your career started, um, well, it might have been even 10 years ago now, that was like really how you made a name for yourself, you know, with those many centuries in a row against them. And, and now you're playing them in a big game and, and their World Cup that they're hosting. And how, how special is it for you to play against India? And how do you feel about the sense of occasion of, of playing them at Team Garden? Um, to be honest, it's just another game of cricket, I guess. Um, every game, every game now, especially counting down to my last couple of games, every game is special. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've played Eden Gardens quite a bit in my life. Um, obviously, playing India in India is going to be quite a spectacle. Um, obviously, they're going to they're going to be they're going to have every single fan in India at that stadium if they could and we probably going to only have a handful um, so it's just probably one of the, the more crazier things about our about our fixture on Sunday um, but otherwise it's just another game of cricket I would say. Thanks for those and lastly is it here before we release Quinny? Uh, Quinny just uh, on uh, facing guys like Mama Siraj and, and Mama Shani uh, they obviously put you under a lot of pressure and so natural instinct to, to, you know, to eat back. Is it, is it a case of just taking the ego out of it and just absorbing pressure and, and allowing them to bowl good balls when they when they are in such stars or do you, do you go at, I'm, I'm taking you down, I'm coming straight back at you? Um, to be fair, it depends on the wickets. Um, 
what's how we go about it because usually in India sometimes the new ball is probably the best time to score the runs um, even though that's probably when they the most attacking um, but obviously if the ball's swinging around uh, doing something off the wicket obviously you just need to soak up the pressure uh, bat for longer um, so yeah that's it's, it's a thing that we'll have to assess um, and then see how we go.